Picture this. It's 1956, and IBM has just unveiled a machine that will revolutionize the way we store information. It's the world's first commercial hard drive, and it holds a grand total of 5 megabytes. Sounds tiny, right? Well, here's the kicker. This thing was the size of two refrigerators, weighed over a ton, and literally required a forklift to move. That's right. To store less than the size of a single high-resolution photo today, you needed heavy machinery. IBM called it the 305 RAMAC, short for Random Access Method of Accounting and Control. It didn't exactly roll off the tongue, but it was cutting edge. Instead of using punch cards or magnetic tape, the drive stored information on 50 massive spinning disks, each about 24 inches wide. To businesses of the time, this was magic. For the first time, you could access data directly instead of searching through reels of tape. Of course, magic came at a price. Renting one of these beasts cost about $3,200 a month, equivalent to nearly $35,000 today. And what did you get for all that money? Enough space for maybe a single music album. Compare that to a smartphone. Thousands of songs, movies, and photos, all fitting in your pocket. The funny part? People back then thought five megabytes was almost too much storage. Like, who could ever need that much? Fast forward a few decades, and we send that amount in a single email attachment. So next time you complain about running out of iCloud space, remember, in 1956, you'd need a crane, a warehouse, and a small fortune just to save a playlist.